using overlap add method compute the output of an filter with an impulse response h of n is equal to 1 minus 2 3 and input x of n is equal to 1 0 2 0 minus 1 minus 2 3 minus 3 1 2 use 8 point circular convolution so here the length of x of n that is x of n he is having 10 samples so we can say the length of the sequence is ls is equal to 10 that is the input sequence x of n is having 10 samples that is nothing but ls is equal to 10 so we suppose to use 8 point circular convolution it means n is equal to 8 so with the help of n we have to find l l is given by the formula l is equal to n minus m plus 1 so here m is nothing but the length of h of n so here m h of n is having three samples therefore m is equal to 3 so now with the help of these values i can find l that is l is equal to so n is 8 minus 3 plus 1 that is nothing but 6 so l value is 6 so in so in overlap and add method the input sequence x of n is divided into different sub blocks so each sub block consists of l samples of x of n followed by m minus 1 zeros that is let me take the first sub block that is say x1 of n is equal to so x1 of n consists of l samples of x of n so here l value is 6 so we have to consider first six samples of x of n that is 1 0 2 0 minus 1 and minus 2 let me write that that is 1 0 2 0 minus 1 minus 2 followed by m minus 1 zeros that is here m value is 3 m minus 1 is 2 that is followed by 2 zeros thus the length of x1 of n is equal to 8 now consider the next sub block that is x2 of n so again x2 of n consists of l samples next l samples of x of n the remaining samples are my 3 minus 3 1 and 2 that is consider 3 minus 3 1 and 2 so here it should be having l samples so here there are only four samples so we supposed to add two more zeros so l is equal to 6 followed by m minus 1 zeros so again we have to write two more zeros 0 0 so now the length of x2 of n is again 8 so then we have to rewrite this h of n such that the length of h of n should be equal should consist of 8 samples that is h of n will be equal to we have 1 minus 2 3 so it, it is followed by l minus 1 zeros so here l value is 6 we have to add 5 zeros so now we have to find the circular convolution between the sub blocks let me find the circular convolution between x1 of n and h of n i will call it as y1 of n let y1 of n is circular convolution between x1 of n and h of n so i will find the circular convolution using matrix method so let me write the matrix y1 of 2 y1 of 3 y1 of 4 y1 of 5 y1 of 6 y1 of 7 so this is output vector so here we have to write the input sequence x1 of n so now write x1 of n in first column so x1 of n values are 1 0 2 0 that is 1 0 2 0 then we have minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 
0 0 so to make it simpler now write the same sequence x1 of n in reverse order that is 0 0 minus 2 minus 1 0 2 0 that should be represented in first row of this matrix that is here we supposed to write the first row first row that is 0 0 in reverse we have to write minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 2 minus 1 0 2 0 that is 0 2 0 so now write the remaining values now i'll tell you how to write the remaining values this one supposed to be written here this zero here this zero here this is minus two this minus one should be written here this zero should be written here this two is written here like this this should be continued so zero this is one this is zero this is zero minus two minus one zero here we have two zero one zero 0 minus 2 minus 1 0 2 0 1 0 0 minus 2 minus 1 0 2 0 1 0 0 this is minus 2 minus 1 0 2 0 1 0 here it is 0 minus 2 minus 1 0 2 0 and it is 1 so this will be 8 cross 8 matrix so now again we have to consider another column matrix so here we supposed to write h of n so h of n is 1 minus 2 3 all are zeros 1 minus 2 3 0 0 0 0 and 0 so now we have to perform the multiplication between this matrix and this matrix. Now perform the multiplication between this square matrix and this column matrix that is 1 into 1 that is 1. So here 0 this is 0 multiplying with 0 and 0 is 0 rest all values will be 0. So we will get only 1. Now multiply second row with this column that is 0 into 1 is 0 1 into this is minus 2 so rest all values will be 0 now 2 into 1 is 2 that is 0 into this is 0 1 into 3 is 3 that is plus 3 next we have 0 into 1 is 0 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 then 0 into 3 is 0 rest all are zeros then minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 then we have 0 this is 2 into 3 is 6 plus 6 next we have minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2 then we have 0 into 3 is 0 so next we have 0 into 1 is 0 minus 2 into minus 2 is 4 minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 then we have 0 this is 0 this is minus 6 so simplifying this we will get this is 1 we have minus 2 5 minus 4 this is 6 minus 1 is 5 this is 0 this is 1 and minus 6 so this is the y1 of n that is circular convolution between now find circular convolution that is y2 of n is equal to x2 of n with h of n so here we have y2 of 0 y2 of 1 y2 of 2 y2 of 3 y2 of 4, y2 of 5, y2 of 6, y2 of 7. We have 8 samples, so it varies 0 to 7. Now let me write the square matrix. So x2 of n values will be written in a first column. 
So x2 of n is given by 3 minus 3, 1, 2. That is 3 minus 3, 1, 2, rest all are zeros. So now write the same sequence in reverse order. In first row, that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, minus 3. We have 0, 0, 0, 0. That is we have to write in 2, 1, minus 3. We have 2, 1, minus 3. Now write the remaining values of this matrix. So this 3 will be written here. This 0, this 0 will be written here. This 0 will be written here. This 3 is 0. This is 2. 1 should be written here. Similarly, this process should be continued. 3, this is 3. 0, 0, 0, 0. It is 2. We have 1, minus 3, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. We have 2, 1, minus 3, 3, 0, 0, 0. Then we have 0, 2, 1, minus 3, 3, 0, 0. This 0, 0, 2, 1, minus 3, 3, 0. Then we have 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, minus 3 and 3. So here h of n values should be written. That is 1 minus 2, 3. 1 minus 2, 3, rest all are zeros. Now perform the multiplication between these two. <coughs> so 3 into 1 is 3. So here rest 4 values are zeros. Then we have rest all values are 0. As all these values are zeros, so now second row, this column, that is minus 3 into 1 is minus 3. 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. So rest all values are 0. Next we have 1 into 1 is 1. We have minus 3 into minus 2 is plus 6. That is 3 into 3 is plus 9. Rest all values are zeros. Then we have 2 into 1 is 2. 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 minus 3 into 3 is minus 9 rest all are zeros then 0 into 1 is 0 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 we have 1 into 3 is 3 rest all values are 0 so here this is 0 this is 0 2 into 3 is 6 rest all values are 0 so here this will be 0 and this will be 0 Now let me simplify this further. So I can get this is 3 minus 9, 16. This is minus 9. We have minus 1, 6, 0, 0. So this is the y2 of n sequence. 3 minus. So now the next step is now I will write, rewrite the output sequences. That is y1 of n, we have 1, minus 2, 5, minus 4, 5, 0, 1, minus 6. Then we have y2 of n sequences, that is 3 minus 9, 16 minus 9. 3 minus 9, 16 minus 9, we have minus 1, 6, 6, 0, 0. So now with the help of these two sequences, we are supposed to write the output sequence y of n. That is in overlap and add method, y of n will be written as. So in overlap and add method, last m minus 1 samples of, that is consider last m minus 1. So here m value is 3 that is nothing but 2. 
so last two samples of y1 of n is overlapped and added and added with first m minus 1 first m minus 1 samples of y2 of n that is here last m minus 1 samples means so this is m minus 1 samples last m minus 1 samples of y of n y1 of n and these are first m minus 1 samples of y2 of n here the first up to this we have to write the sequence as it is that is 1 minus 2 we have 5 minus 4 this is 5 and this is 6 now this 1 should be added with 3 that is 1 plus 3 is 4 then minus 6 should be added with minus 9 it will be minus 15 then we have the remaining samples we have to write as it is that is 16 minus 9 we have minus 1 6 up to up to more and we have 0 0 so these last two zeros can be can be ignored so this is the convolution between the given sequence x of n and h of n so here the length of output sequence y of n is calculated as length of x of n is 10 length of h of n is 3 minus 1 which is equal to 12. So here we have 12 samples. Thank you for watching.